let's create our first project in Cubase. Um, now, in order to create a new project and to get this window I have right here, you should go to File and click New Project. Now, this window pops up. Uh, as you can see here, you have different tabs like Recent, where your recent projects are, the things you were doing late, uh, recently. Then you have Recording, and all of these here are templates, different recording templates. Uh, then we have some scoring templates. Um, if you were into scoring, you know, doing some scores and writing some, um, some notes. And then we have some production templates for different, different styles of music, mastering templates, and under more, there are user templates. Now, I have a special uh, section dedicated just for templates. Templates are important, but for now, let's not think too much about it. Now, to create a new project, uh, one very important thing is to select where you want to save your project. So what project folder do you want? Now, Cubase offers you a default location, which is under C users, in my case, Cubase project, right? That's where Cubase automatically saves it. But I highly suggest that you use prompt for project location. This allows you uh, <clears throat> that Cubase asks you every time you create a new project where you want to save it. And I also suggest that you dedicate a special folder um, on your disk where you save your projects. This way you stay organized, you know where projects are, you can easily go back to it. So let's create an empty project by just selecting prompt for project location and clicking create empty. Cubase asks us, okay, where do you want to save your project? Now I've created a special folder just for this occasion called test folder on my desktop. So if I just click on test, or if I go to my desktop, right, I click on my test folder, and I select it, I've created a new project. Now, let's take a look what Cubase automatically creates in, in, in that project folder. So if I go to my uh, folders, I have it prepared right here. This is my test folder. Okay, so once you create, just create a new project, Cubase creates an audio folder. And this is where all of your audio recordings, if you create any in your project, will be saved. Now, let's go back to our project. And now let's say I did some work and I want to save my project. That's very important to save your project file. I go to File and then Save. And Cubase will automatically save my uh, project to the, uh, to the folder I have chosen. And that's the folder test. Let's name it, let's say test again, and click save. So if I open my folder now, right here, where is it? Okay, so now Cubase created a Cubase project file. And it's very important that you keep your audio folder and your project folder in the same folder. Let me show you the what can happen if you, you know, remove your project file from your folder. Uh, if you go under file, and let's say you decide, okay, maybe I want to save a new version of this project to a different folder. And I go save as, save as, and I choose a different folder. Cubase will automatically save just this Cubase file in a different folder, but it won't remove, it, it won't uh, copy the audio folder to that new folder where you created a new version of your project. Now, why is this important? If you accidentally uh, do save as, and you save your project file on a, different, on a different hard disk, and then maybe one of your old disks die, dies, or if you accidentally delete the old project folder, and you now have just a new project file, let's say test two, if you had any audio tracks, and if you try to load it and activate in your project, your project won't be able to activate audio tracks because the audio folder is deleted now. So uh, keep this in mind to not lose your recordings and your tracks. Okay, so this is it for project creation.